As restaurants are given the freedom to welcome in more customers, some are choosing not to reopen their dining rooms just yet. Here to talk about how the restaurant industry in Iowa is faring during this next phase of the pandemic is Jessica Dunker, head of the Iowa Restaurant Association. And Jessica, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me today. This is the third time you and I have spoken now about the state of the restaurant uh, and bar industry in um, Iowa. And uh, now with the relaxing of the rules, the 50% capacity going to 100. I mean, at first glance, it would seem like uh, th this is fantastic news. How are restaurants in Iowa taking it? Well, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that having the capacity limit lifted, but still having the requirement of six feet between tables um, is not 100% capacity for nearly any restaurant or uh, bar in the state of Iowa. Um, there are some people that it helps. And at this point, we take any help for anyone that we can possibly get. Um, we're looking forward to seeing what's happening here with the possibility of restaurants and bars being able to expand some of their seating in Des Moines into parking lots or onto sidewalks. And under the previous proclamation, you could not have done that because you would be above your 50% capacity. So this proclamation in combination with cities actually across the state looking at doing that, that's one way that uh, restaurants and bars might be able to take advantage of these new rules. And so we see that some restaurants are still having to make a very difficult decision about whether to reopen, to what degree to reopen, because when you reopen as a restaurant, I mean, it's it's kind of all in because you assume a lot of the regular expenses of operating full speed, right? That's absolutely right. And one of the things, that even when we were opening at 50% capacity that we were saying to people is, we need our patrons to take advantage of every kind of service model we have. So, you know, if you want to come in, come dine in. We'd love to love to see you. But take, do takeout, do delivery, do carry out, do drive through, whatever you can do, because we are still hanging on by a thread as an industry. We are still projecting the loss of a thousand restaurants across the state of Iowa by March 1st of 2021. Yeah, that, that's just terrible to hear. And, um, you know, honestly, not surprised from everything we've seen. And then we have the whole thing of exactly the customers not exactly rushing back. We still have the pandemic out there. Um, there's, you know, word that it may come back with a vengeance in the fall. We saw that as we're doing this interview, we saw that the Dow Jones Industrials dropped almost 2000 points today. We still have a challenged economy as well. And that's usually maybe one of the biggest factors in whether people go out to eat or not, right? Yeah, it absolutely is. And, you know, we've said all along that we have an unenviable position because we didn't do anything to lose the trust of our customers. And we have to do everything to earn back their confidence. And that is a really hard position to be in. And so we look at you know, COVID is not food borne, right? It is, it's, we know that much. And so um, how we go about uh, welcoming people back, serving people safely. We, we do that all the time, year round we do that. We did that well before COVID, but now rebuilding that confidence in consumers to come back into dining rooms, yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. Yep, well, I, I know you know that uh, the hearts and minds of Iowans are behind you. We love our restaurants. There are gonna be tears uh, across the state when we start to hear the names of some of the restaurants that are not going to come back. And we wish you the very best. Jessica Dunker, head of the Iowa Restaurant Association, thanks so much for joining us. Yep, thank you so much for having me.